Welcome to Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan, training you to lead with courage. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan. I am your host, Virginia Pradhan. Thank you for your questions and thank you for your concerns. I'm going to ask you uh, the question that you ask me. On the day of rage, the day that Hamas declared as a day of violence against um, uh, Jewish people, what can we do? What is our role? Yes. They declared the day of rage, the day of mobilization and support uh, to, for people uh, to support the Palestinian side and the Hamas, which is a terrorist organization. And our response should be a day of prayer, a day of support of Israel and a day of praying for, for them. And as I will describe later on, it's not only praying for Israel, but praying for the enemies of Israel, the Hamas, because God um, gave us the job of being peacemakers and also praying for our friends, but praying for our enemies too, because the, he, Christ died for them. Christ died for this horrible and um, hard to believe that a human being can do something like this, like people of Hamas. But it's our honor and privilege and also responsibility to pray for them too. So uh, I am here. Um, I know you have uh, received a lot of information from uh, uh, radio, television, uh, national and international um, television. We are so grateful that our government supports um, Israel, uh, not only supports, but provides all the military uh, necessary for uh, Israel to um, defend their, their state and their lives. Many of them are still um, trying to give a proper uh, burial to the people that were killed in a horrible, horrible, and the horrible circumstances. But today, the Hamas declared a day of rage, a day of um, um, call to and what they said. Uh, um, Hamas declared Friday, October 13, the day of general mobilization and a call to our Palestinian people, they said, um, to um, demobilize all the Arabs and Islamic world and people around the world, they want to be violent and to kill Jewish people wherever they might be. Um, the people at Daily uh, Signal with Heritage Foundation and many, many other um, news newsletter, news, news people and television are saying this is no question, a global call to violence, a global call to arm. And it will be heated, it will be blood, they said. Um, many of them are saying uh, the reason for Hamas to do this is because they want to attack Israelis and Jewish, and it does not matter where they, they live. Um, events so far... Um, uh, in many ways, very, very dangerous. Uh, we have a situation all over the world in a bank west um, and in other places. Um, we have stabbing in uh, in France. Um, a twenty years old a migrant uh, uh, on France. Uh, he is an extremist there. He um, stabbed a teacher to death, uh, wounded others in a suspected terrorist attack Friday Friday morning. 
when the police came, they were, uh, they captured him and he was praising Allah and uh, whatever Hamas um, directed him to do. Also in China, we have a situation where um, a family member of uh, Israeli diplomats, a uh, victim 50 years old, uh, an Israeli embassy in Benjin was um, um, was stabbed and uh, they had to take her to, to the hospital and uh, so far they don't know the reason of the attack but we assume it's uh, um, it's a result of uh, what this uh, this organization is doing um, we have in our our own country, not necessarily Friday, but we had a few days ago demonstrations and letters written by uh, uh, students and Harvard Law Schools and other other schools uh, accusing Israel after they um, uh, suffer a horrible attack and kids were killed, babies were uh, killed, and mothers and um, um, Military were decapitated and so forth, and many, many of those those situations were presented by the media, not only by the Israeli media or other medias, but by the Hamas themselves. They will kill, they will terrorize people, and they will take Holocaust, um, you know, victims, uh, older people, and they will. Uh, do horrible things to them, and they will video and uh, they will boast on social media about this. Um, I heard, and, and I believe it's true. We uh, we know about the Holocaust. We know about what the uh, horrible things uh, these people in Germany they have done. There is a big difference, uh, and I am not justifying what they did. But they um, did horrible things to the Jewish people, and they try very hard to hide their uh, their actions. Um, but the world found out, no matter what. Well, these Hamas people are even worse. Not only that they kill, they destroy, they have no respect of human life, but they record themselves and they put on social media, considering that this is something so, something to be proud of. For that reason, I will say we need to pray for these people. We need to understand that we are dealing with people that, and when I'm saying we are dealing with people, is it's not only uh, us, it's not only Jewish people uh, now. It's the humanity that has to take, um, must take a response and stand up against this kind of atrocities. And I know there are um, wonderful groups, and you can find about them all over the internet. And I will put some of the links underneath here so you might be aware that many of them are not only. Um, praying for uh, Israel. Sometimes they have daily prayers, so you can become part of their group, but they also donate and help uh, Israeli people all over the world. You know, today in many cities, including uh, in uh, New York, some of the school have to close the school because they were, uh, they wanted to protect the kids from whatever those um, supporters of Hamas have any intention to do to them. Um, the terror is not only in Israel. It's here in our own backyard. And for that reason, we have to stand up. And again, I'm very grateful for our American government that stands up with Israel and wants to protect Israel.
we need to pray for Israel and we need to pray for the government to have wisdom in everything and do and say to respect the um, rules and the laws of uh, engagement um, to protect human lives in Gaza or other places. We have to protect, we have to pray for um, um, the Israeli government that they will not only have wisdom in making the decision, but they will rely on God and his directions. Um, we know that um, God is the one who provides everything for us, and uh, uh, sometimes he uh, puts us in, uh, in um, um, horrifying circumstances to realize that um, everything we need to depend on him. We need to realize that it's not our power, but his power in us that will... Um, uh, will conquer the situation and the circumstances. Um, in Psalm 94, 16, the word of the Bible said, who will rise up against me, excuse me, who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against evildoers? It is up to us to respond. And our response can be praying for Israel, praying for the government, pray, praying for people, and praying for people of Hamas, that God will um, um, help them to turn from their wicked way and repent and uh, seek his face and accept him as their Lord and Savior. Everything is possible with God. Nothing, is, no, no human is too far away from God. No human can do something that Christ cannot uh, forgive. In Chronicles 2.12, the word says, We are powerless before he, this, he, this great multitude who are coming against us. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. 2 Chronicles 12. I hope that people of Israel will raise their uh, eyes to God and recognize that they need him so much. And many of them are Christians. Many of them are not. So we pray that during this time, it might be a great opportunity for many of them to accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. But we pray for their safety, we pray for their salvation. And we pray the same thing for people in Gaza, for Hamas and people in Gaza that might not know, know Christ. Um, during those circumstances, and I assume they are horrifying circumstances for many of them, they will raise their voice and eyes up to God and they will find Christ as their Lord and Savior. In Jeremiah 15, 19, it says, If you repent, I will restore you, that you may serve me. If you speak worthy, not worldly words, you will be my spokesperson. What a wonderful promise. And we pray for Israeli people and for people in Hamas and, and in, in Gaza and the Palestinian people. We pray because this is applicable to them. We pray that as they will cry out to God and accept him as their Lord and Savior, one day they will have an amazing story of what God has done for them. Not only save their lives during those horrifying circumstances, but also save them for eternity. I believe with the possibility of uh, Israeli uh, forces to go on the ground in, uh, in Gaza, um, there will be a lots of blood, there will be a, a lots of hard circumstances, a long time, it will be a long, long uh, war. So um, our prayers should be constant for not only for Israeli people, but pe for people of Gaza. 
that they will understand that Jewish people are people that are chosen people by God. He placed them in that part of the land. And he also loves the Hamas uh, people, the Palestinian people, but he does not. Christ is not, and God is not for violence. In fact, the Proverbs told us that he hates violent people, and he is against them. And I have Psalm 94, 17, which says, Unless the Lord had given me help, I would soon have dwelt in the silence of death. It is so, uh, again, Psalm 94, 17, this can be so true now or in the days to come for both. For Israeli people, soldiers, especially going on the ground there and fighting, trying to find the tunnels, trying to find the terrorists, trying to find the people that were kidnapped and kept there, um, and also for people of Hamas, for people of Palestine. I hope that they will uh, have a wonderful story that God helped them and saved them. And they didn't have to dwell in the silence of death, but they receive life and a eternal life. We know that Psalm 32, 8 says, I will instruct you and give you. Well, okay, I'm going to say it again. I'm sorry. Psalm 32, 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will I will counsel you with my loving eyes on you. God is a God that will share everything that is needed for people that are looking for his guidance, his commands, and his love. God doesn't like people to kill each other. God doesn't like people to fight with each other. But also, God established some rules in this country, in this world, and He established Jewish people to live in that land. And we understand that that Hamas doesn't want peace; that Hamas wants to destroy and eliminate uh, the Jewish people. I will have to say, it, their first fight is not against. Israeli people, their first fight is with God. Hamas fights first with God. And then with Israeli people, because they are the chosen people, God put them there. And I have to say I'm confident on that, that no human ever, ever tried or thought that fighting with God, will they will win because God never loses a battle. In fact, Proverbs 21, 30 says, there is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. And God's plan is to protect Israeli people and to help them live in that part of the land that God won the victory for them and God created that land for them. So Hamas and people that are fighting against Iran or any other violent people that have something against Israeli people and they want to destroy them, again, their fight is against God. And they, I know for sure that they are losing this, this fight, no matter how the situation will be for the next five days, ten days, five months or so. Nobody wins against God. It's better to put your arms down and turn from your wicked way and seek God and seek his face. In Jeremiah 33, 3, the Lord says, Call on me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Jeremiah 33, 3. We pray for Israeli people. We pray for their government. We pray for people that are helping them. 
that they will call up to God. They will hear from God and great and unsearchable things they, they do not know and they will follow through and God will give them victory. Also, as I said, it is our job and our responsibility, no matter how hard it might be for us. I know that I experienced persecution and God trained me into um, praying for our enemies. We have to pray for our enemies. And I am saying Hamas and violent people and people that are, um, their desire is to destroy Jewish people or any other people are uh, people that are fighting first with God because God created every human being and he loves them. And I have to say God loves in particular Israeli people because they are chosen people and he is patient with them. He is patient with uh, Hamas and with each one of us, and he wants to, to us, all of us, to turn from our wicked way and to repent and to seek him and his face so he might heal us and my, he might heal the land. There are, again, many, many things that, that you can do. There are organizations all over the world that will... Uh, um, ask for your donations. There are organizations that will um, um, have prayer every single every single day, and you can be part of this. I hope you are encouraged by everything that is on social media as young people, Jewish people from all over the world, return to Israel. Because between 18 and 21 years old, you know, being in the military is required. It's part of their lives. So they return to Israel to defend their own country. And they don't know if they will uh, return alive or not from the battle. So our battle is much easier and it's not as dangerous as theirs. We, our battle is in prayer. Earn in sacrifice if you want to donate and support. Fox News and, and many, many other, other organizations and television, they set up um, places where you can make those donations. But if you want to pray and be a, a counterattack to the violence, the day of uh, rage, the day of violence, we can declare a day of prayer that will be every single day for Israeli people that they will um, win the victory in God's power to keep their land and um, not to be eliminated. God, in fact, promised that they will never, never be uprooted. Um, we know that he's in charge. We know that he loves everyone, including the Hamas and Palestinian people. And we pray for them too. I hope that uh, you will um, contact us and tell us uh, how God uh, guided you to pray or to support Israel and to pray for Israel and for Hamas and for Palestinian people, to pray for peace and to pray for unity. Uh, we also want to know if you want to join with us in prayer and if you want to pray every single day or once a week, wherever the situation might be, you can always contact us at virginiaprodanbooks.com slash contact. Um, we hope that you will, you will um, um, answer this call to pray and to support uh, our, our friends and our people. And um, until next time, I hope we, you will, we will hear from you. Prayer is our tool and our amazing, amazing opportunity that Christ gave us and taught us how to pray in order to be part of uh, um, unity and uh, um, 
bringing peace, not only in our heart, in our um, community, but also in Israel and all over the world. If you want to know more about Virginia Prodan, her coaching program, buy her book, Saving My Assassin, or invite Virginia to speak at your events, visit virginiaprodanbooks.com. Thank you.